Welcome back guys. Uh the game crashed, so there's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Steven. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening up. It's completely dead. It won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Lady. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but you've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, she'll stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful. All right, so I'm back, guys. Don't know what happened there, but my game apparently crashed. Yeah, that was a thing. So, anyway, uh, I was about to check for or four less. Four lays. I don't know why I said four less. Four lays. I hear a phone. making sounds okay all right so why what while everything else outside was happening people disappearing and stuff Steph St Steven Stefan I'm, I'm gonna call him Stefan that's what it looks like Stefan and Kate are up there trying to decode the burnt marks and patterns on their face Why everybody else is getting taken away, but it doesn't. It, that still doesn't explain the why. And again, so many questions. I really hope I'm not jumping over conclusions. Like it. It's in a awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's swell up older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. 
I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language! Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's, she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. I mean, your mom pretty much had it right there, bro. She's all about her research. Trying to figure out the phenomenon that you're trying to, you're worried about, um, more ashes. You're worried about a family. So he was constructing a house for them. I was like, this house looks under construction. Who's this for? I was thinking it, but I didn't say it out loud. So, yeah, he was trying to construct a house for him and Kate. But I could just tell just from here, li listening to Kate's phone calls and, and uh, conversations, she's not that type of person. I'm definitely not that type of person trying to settle down. No, 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 no. no. I, 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 I got goals, I got ambitions. I'm trying to go places. Physical changes are evident. Although the butterfly burn is now faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both the speaker and listener simultaneously. I am a scientist. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. It's everywhere. Huh? Ah! Mr. Light, you freak. <laughs> Stay away from me, you <laughs> demon from hell. <laughs> is it me? Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Michael Ace has got the glowing thing in me. Uh. I hear a phone. Okay, make sure I went here. Thanks. Can, we, can I open this? Whoa. Oh, that phone. And that makes perfect sense. Stay away from you. Stay away, you. Anything at all. Some more pathways. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna follow the light. No phones. You know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. Jesus Christ! You're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an You have to. Now it knows we're onto it. It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating Aren't out you now. listening? It's figured out ways around it. Mm -hmm. Radio waves, something. All of the lines are cut, but the phones are working anyway. You've done all the right things, but it's not enough. You've got to stop it before it adapts again. Stephen, my, my family, my, my wife and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant, my own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. Don't you lecture me about sacrifice, you spineless little shit. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. 
Oh, this is Clive's office. Wow, okay, again, I feel like I'm really in a movie here. And that is good, man. This game is great. It's not, it, it's not just a, it's not because how I'm feeling either. It's just like, you can tell they put a lot of thought into this. And then again, here I am thinking, here, okay. So I feel like I'm probably gonna do this at the end too, but it's supposed to be in my head. Now okay, I'm getting different, I, I'm getting different conclusions, but it's supposed to be a movie. So when you think Rapture, well, when I thought Rapture, I thought bi biblically, everybody's being taken up to heaven, etc., etc., etc. But that's not the case here. Now we're dealing with some smart entity. I'm coming. Now we're dealing with some smart entity who is knocking out birds, taking people away, burning faces, and trying to eat and adapt. So this is like way over my head here from what I originally thought. Wait, is this the bar from the beginning? You look well. I don't. But thank you. You do. How are you, Sat Lennon? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me. Stop it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about how things worked out. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things. To put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering what she <laughs> meant by that. That's embarrassing. Sorry. Uh, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What is it? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Again, you know, you know you, you, you're, again, you're close to repeat somebody and then the emotions stir back up, so. Well, you get feelings that's unintentional. Because I read up on that, too. I hope that somebody watch this and really hear me, <laughs> really, really hear me one day. Well, of course people hear me all right now. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway, people, I mean, it, it happens because I even had a time where I was hanging with this girl and just out of nowhere, it's just a feeling of like, can I like go out with this girl? And I almost did too, 12th grade, like really tomboyish girl, not pretty at all. I mean, she was okay looking, just not to, just not pretty to me, but okay looking. Everybody got different standards. I am here. All right, keep going up. So, here I was telling me to go with the girl, and I was like, no. And I had to fight for that for like a whole year because I had just feelings that weren't even my own, emotions that weren't even my own, telling me that, oh, you like this girl, and I was like, I don't. Which I didn't. It was just lust. That's all that was, just straight up lust. Because the girl, she was okay, but she was. I had the eyes like thick. Why wow, I sound like an old. Wow, I like I'm old. She she was thick. She really was. And if one of my guys here is, they probably know who I'm talking about. Cause I put on the I put on the tough act to them like, no nah, bro, I'm not phased by her, man. But some days it was like, would this be the day if I just asked her out? Train station. I can't walk across this. Oh I can. Oh, I see you there. I see you. Open up. I see you in there. Alright, how about to the right? Nope, how about to the left? Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm already here? Oh, right to the right, right to the right, right there. I'm at the supernatural gym. Dang, that was fast. Darling Stephen. I said Jeremy. I don't know if you will ever listen to this. Uh, 
Maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, well, I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh, there's planes coming. Lights, where are you? And now it's daytime. Alright, I saw Mr. Light going this way. Sorry, I got caught up in the music. So, this place did get bombed, but just not this area. Did they close Whoa. the tunnel? There's no trains. I put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard. Is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, this headache is just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the crossed lines. But no direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean direct contact, Stephen? Mr. Light? So he got infected and he's not, he hasn't even touched anyone. Honey cult. Honey cut or honey cult? I don't think it's a cult that's cut. Also, I think I noticed that the radio that's been chasing me with his codes has like changed numbers. That's a cat, that's a cat register. How much for gas? Shot with y'all. You said closed, but your door is clearly cracked open. Hello? Hello, is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Clyde? Clyde, it's Stephen Appleton. Are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Come on, Clyde, where are you? I'm right here, but... I was like, oh, I'm right here, bro. I'm going to Tower 6, but should I even? Should I even? Should I even? Should I even? Alright, so I'm at the gas station. Lounge. I'm at the gas station, cafe, and parking. Sir, your finest uh, croissant, please. All right, I guess I just keep going up. 
I have no idea where Mr. Light is. Let's see, I wait. I was at Valley Farm. No, I was at someplace else. Just making sure I, I wasn't at the same place twice. Can I hop over this? I got my character is physically not able to. Valley Farms Home Sellers. Oh, this is where they was coming from with the van. Show me something. You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And I've got stinking green lorry of his poisoning my birds. He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes. It's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give Not a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, <laughs> stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. Hmm. Trying to help you out there. So Wendy's got her own dilemma right there. Yeah, I think I saw that too at the bridge. No, at the uh, cross intersection. Cause she was talking to him to my. Uh, no, she was talking to him talking about my mother told me about you, Frank. Valley Farms phones. Show me something. Appleton! What are you doing here? You thieving bastard! I knew it was you! Take everything you need. But then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting me stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here! Don't touch me! Get off! What's going on? Come in here! Lord. Jesus, Get up over Sam! Us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest No physical you contact! You stupid fucking missing! Sam, stop it! Than any of you! <laughs> Meg, please. Don't come near me. Meg! Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't, don't touch I, me! Please, you have to understand, it was an accident! Get off her! Let go, let's just go! Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident! Let's just leave him, leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Charlie, please! That one punch man punch man. You got you gotta watch out for that one punch. He said don't touch him. But did he just like fall down and vanish or was that just like fall down and die? I'm gonna assume fall down and die. Cause his light like shine no more. Nice. Stealth. Strong punch. Gotcha. I don't think that's correct. Let me check anyway. Is correct. Station Master's house, Howard Lantham. Sound speaking. like that, sounding like that. Clive Smith, I need you to listen <laughs> to me and not ask questions or interrupt. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. I can. But why are you calling? The Emergency Measures Committee is imposing. He said, don't ask questions. He asked questions right off the bat. That's it. But yeah, a phone like that should not be making a sound like that, though. You would expect more of a ring than a dial tone. Whoa, why are you climbing up so slow? Anything? No. Oh, oh my gosh, he's... Oh my gosh. Like the... The guys during the stairs restricted him. Shit, they got a garage. I haven't seen Mr. Light. I hope I'm not going the wrong way here.
That's locked. Dang, I came this way. Freak. Alright. Mr. Light, where are you? I apparently went around. I mean, I could. I got some pieces of the story. Very interesting pieces, but I need to get to the main thing here. Mr. Light. Come here, boy. There you are. Oh, this is a new place, too. Show me something. Is that did it just open? Radio. Pressure in my eyes again. <laughs> I hate the smell I of smoke. Move my legs can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. What? The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. What? It's frightened too. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. I'll look after you. Who's looking at the who? It's alone. Can we answer the question of what is it? It's okay. I can help you. We can be together now. Ten seconds to signal fusion. We can be together. Three seconds. Oh. Two. Oh. Should I be scared? Oh. I don't do that. Okay. And then the, the light just standing right there. This is making me all sorts of creep. Just scared here. <laughs> but this is the third time this game has freaked me out. Even though nothing is supposed to attack me. It's just the sense of it. Sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? <gasps> did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her! Oh, come on, it was just a drink! Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it?! Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot! You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just... don't. You keep Come on, this is crazy. The third time you done got left behind there, bro. Third time. But yeah, see what one drink did to you? Holy crap, what's going on up there? Sir, what are you doing? What is, 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 what is Is this a thing? Boy, I'm, 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 I'm like in awe right now. Oh. Okay. So I think I just hit it straight towards the end because now he's in the building. All right. Yeah, that's what it do, man. One drink, and then you got all these 
emotions and feelings and hormones inside too and that's what happens then you start doing rational decisions and stuff oh okay that's what's made to look like blood but it's not oh okay when I was a kid my dad found a fox it had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore my mum went spare of course made him keep it in the shed he was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was, I was jealous, I think. And the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. And it bit me. I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden. My mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Later I found him crying. I'd done a Kent, son. That's what he said. I'd done a Kent, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made it. Terrible miscalculation. Hello, sir. Everyone I've ever loved with me. You've made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you, Kate, wait, stop. What the heck is happening? Hello darkness, my old friend. This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left.
Oh crap. Oh, major headache. Catherine, Catherine. So it was just her and Steph, and then Steph just went down to the bottom to bury himself. More markings, more patterns, yeah, she got hooked into it. On the plane, Stephen leaned across me and pointed out the window. Down there, he said. That's home. But all I saw were patches of color. I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely. Hmm. Interesting fox story, though, too. Okay, tower one, tower two. I need to get to tower six. What the heck is this? Printers. Are those supposed to be zeros or faces? What is that? I watched a butterfly dancing in a strip of sunlight. All of its life contained in a single day. The blink of an eye between the ebb of the darkening tide. Lying there with the pattern curled around me, I saw the inevitability, the necessity of presence born from absence, the constant unfolding. Let me find out you've been watching Doctor Strange. Possibilities. And I interact a lot more ashes. I slick be seeing them ashes on the side. My character won't run for crap. Do you want me to walk all the way to those? I mean, it's just, I don't even know if this is the main one. I'm trying to, I was, I was trying to skip past, but I don't know if that's even the main one. But I will see by the numbers. And then my character won't run. Good job. Slow and steady is apparently gonna win this race. A lot more math. Zero radio. I know it didn't mean to hurt any of them. Power three. I try and explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. And I'm happy for them. Frank walks his fields with Mary. Wendy and Edward nest together in the orchards of their love. Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. All of them are happy because they are together. I understand it better now. It is a collector of time. No butterflies. It's supposed to be in reference to the butterfly effect. Was that was was that what's that supposed to be? <clears throat> Alright, tower, 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 tower. Devour our hour. Dear. Oh, okay. I just realized where I was. So I'm at the observatory. That's observatory. That was at the beginning of the uh, game. Valis. Can I just go that way? Nah. Nah, nah, guy. Nah. Nah, bro. That's not how we doing this. I gotta follow the white stream to light. Because apparently it is enemy. It is enemy. Click. I watched 
watched the pattern lean in and time slow to almost nothing. I saw the flame leap from Steven's hand and the moment hang in the air forever. I watched his face. And in the last second, I almost believe he saw me. He wasn't frightened or angry. I remember his expression, just like I remember it from the first time. Early that morning when he woke and still half sleeping said, God, I love you. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go, knowing I wasn't ready to join him. We have held time to ourselves here in this place held the light to the ground because we were afraid of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living. I've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without grasping this meaning. The light we cast transcends our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit confused there, Catherine. So something with flames? Is that what happened at the bottom? Dang, she even marked on the streets. There was just so much information. I see you, White Strip. Number five. It reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Everything is light now. Everything has come to rest. The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere. The bridge joining our stories. This world existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In the empty fields and houses, our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue. Are you talking about everything like after death? I'm gonna have to put my well of course I'm gonna do it anyway but I'm interested I'm interested I'm interested to see uh, what you guys will have to say what you would mm -hmm. okay what you would comment at the end of the video or sometimes during the video because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say my own understanding at the end of what I think was going on here because I'm, I'm trying to piece together my own puzzles and surely enough, I am still confused. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, Catherine, I'm believing this is you, huh? So I click this. Nope, I gotta move, Mr. Uh, Mr. Light. To the right. Nope, I'm about to the left. Just a little bit. A little farther. All right, there we go. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Cat. The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. 
Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean, and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Guys, that game was great. It was great. It was awesome. It was fantastic. It was incredible. The story-wise, the emotions, the feels, it was just it was just great. It really was. But my thing was, alright, let me go ahead and throw my uh, my my twenty no, I'm not worth twenty cents. Let me throw let me throw my one hundred dollars in here. One no, I'm not worth one hundred dollars. Let me throw my one million dollars in here. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm really interested to see what you guys thought, but village, not a village, a county that got hit by epidemic by some type of uh, space-like spirit, not spiritual, celestial, not celestial, some type of entity that people cannot see, but it's smart and it's speaking through codes kind of being like a uh, supernatural alien that you can't see so from what I caught at the end Catherine was like it's I think it's called the pattern it's called the pattern and it's taking people away to meet their counterparts but it's taking them away to a place where they're happy if I'm gonna explain it in the best way possible so we were just looking through memories of what happened before the place before everybody just vanished and disappeared or they were taken away to the pattern so let me get counter uh catherine was trying to explain something like the the, the cycle continue the cycle continues and you don't have to be afraid so like everybody's gonna meet their end and the pattern was somehow their counterpart. I mean, I'm not really sure that's a good thing, but what they were saying, like she was saying in the radio, Jeremy was Jeremy Jeremy was with uh, Lil, and everybody was with whoever, and then Frank was with his wife Mary, but they was in the pattern, and the pattern was their counterpart. But they're in a happy way. But the cycle will continue even though those people were taken away. Apparently, I'm gonna have to look it up because apparently I missed something. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm not. I'm, I'm just confused. That's all. A bit confused because in a type of way, it is a rapture. It is. They're being taken away. That's exactly what rapture means. But I guess I'm missing the whole concept. I guess I under. I guess I answered. I guess they answered the what is it. It's the pattern. It's taking people away to a happier place, which is their counterpart. I mean, whip their counterparts. But again, I feel like I'm, I really feel like I'm missing something here. I got what it is, what it wants, how it came to be, how to get to Earth. But I guess I'm not understanding the story of the whole rapture. Like, I mean, what's not to understand? Why is it doing its counterpart happiness, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed playing this game. This was very good. Kind of, again, different from the fast, hyper-paced games I'm playing. But again, I saw it was free, so I was like, why not, you know? And then there was a lot of, I, did, I looked at a review, and it had a lot of great reviews. The only thing that was bad about it was that sprinting. You thought the game would be faster at sprinting. But each story took about an hour. And again, I feel bad. I didn't, I didn't get the complete Franks. Frank was the only person that really didn't get to complete his. He was the man, the myth, the legend. He should have been done. 
but I missed out on Frank only because I I, I, I kind of got impatient. To be honestly, honestly, yeah, I got impatient and I didn't feel like checking around that whole gosh darn, uh, well, no, I was patient. It's just Mr. Light got stuck and I didn't know what exactly to do. So I was just like, I'm going to continue forward. But anyway, all in all, great game though. Great game. So I did my outro. <laughs> I did my outro and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome.